important position you'll never vote for. When Speaker Joe Strauss announced he was leaving, it kicked off a race to replace him. Today, that race seems to have finished with a representative from Angleton. KXN's political reporter Phil Prazen introduces us to Dennis Bonin. We're here to let you know that uh, the Speaker's race is over and the Texas House is ready to go to work. You need 76 uh, House member, member votes to become Speaker of the House. In a brief press conference, Ways and Means Chairman Dennis Bonin says he has 109. He'll be one of the three most powerful men in the state, negotiating directly with Governor Greg Abbott and Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick. He can be tenacious, he can be irritating, he can be conciliatory, and all at the same time. And um, so uh, he's a hard negotiator and um, has earned the respect, I think, of pretty much both sides. Uh. Last session, he was a key lieutenant of Speaker of the House Joe Strauss. When I asked him what would be the House's top priority, he said changing how the state pays for your public education. When the House stands together, it does great things. And this Texas House is going to do great things. That's a good sign to Democratic Vice Chair Celia Israel. Public school finance was his number one issue. That's my number one issue, so we're starting off on good terms. But she says she needs to know more about his style, if Democrats will be at the table, and what his other priorities will be. We'll find out more about the speaker to be in the weeks ahead. Phil Prazen, KXAN News. Representative Bonin has at least one central Texas tie. He graduated with a political science degree from St. Edwards University in Austin. The vote for speaker is coming up January 15th. We have a complete listing of all the lawmakers supporting Chairman Bonin as speaker. That's at kxan.com.